what I want to talk to you guys about today is boomerangs and kind of some fun things about boomerangs. So I brought a bunch to show you, and I'm going to, this is what you guys probably kind of recognize as a boomerang, all right? And it, it is a boomerang. It's a two-bladed boomerang. This particular boomerang I made myself this year. It's a strip laminated boomerang. It's made out of um, mushroom cypress antique barn wood. I've got some inlaid copper and some walnut plugs, and I entered it in a statics competition at the World Championships last month in Albuquerque, and I won first place craftsmanship and best in show. So I was really, really happy with that. Uh, what this here, all right, let's start at the very beginning. Boomerangs, original boomerang, non-returning boomerang, invented simultaneously about 5,000 years ago all the way around the world. Uh, the oldest boomerang ever found, though, is 10,000 years old, made out of mammoth, mammoth tusk, and was found in Poland. Uh, all original boomerangs are called Kylie's or hunting sticks. They do not return. They go perfectly straight, and they're used for hunting, knocking an animal off its feet, breaking its legs, something you could get to to hunt. But you also used it to dig holes and uh, chop brush and to skin animals, and you would start to wear one edge down. And when you went to throw it and get it to fly straight, it would start to curve a little. So a thinker somewhere decided that he would make a more of a, a wooden boomerang shape, more of an elbow, and get the boomerang to come back a little bit lighter, more airfoils. And that's where returning boomerangs came from. And you know that was a, a Stone Age tool, and we have since turned it into a Space Age sport to where we show up on a field with a boomerang kit full of competition boomerangs. You know, it might have a, a uh, folder in it. And it's going to carry all the boomerangs that I may need for the day, depending on different wind. Uh, uh, Australian round, this boomerang's made to go out about 50 meters. If I threw it from that circle, I'm glad they put those circles out there, because that's what a boomerang competition field looks like. You would start with a 10-meter circle in the middle, or a 2-meter circle in the middle, and it goes out 10 meters, and you have accuracy points in there. Then you have a 20-meter line, a 30-meter line, a 40-meter line, and a 50 meter line for a 100 meter circle, which is just about the inside of this field. So if I was to throw this boomerang from center, it would go out and just get out over the stands and come back for hopefully a perfect bullseye, which in 1995 I set the world record uh, with 95 out of 100 points. Unfortunately, it's been beat by then. I'm, I'm no longer the world record holder, but I did hold it for 10 years. Uh, and that's one of the events. Another event, here's a bunch of competition boomerangs that we may do. Juggling. Throw one boomerang at a time. Before you catch the first boomerang, you catch the, you throw your next. And you're keeping one boomerang in the air as you're throwing. World record, some 500 plus or more catches. I've done 129 myself. Uh, it's better if it's calm uh, to throw juggling because the wind affects it a lot. Everything we're working out, our variable is wind out there. I'm going to throw every boomerang I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw 90 to 45 degrees to the right of the wind. I want the boomerang cutting across the wind, cutting into the wind, and then as it's losing its momentum that I've put on it, it's gonna, the wind's going to help it get back to me. Some boomerangs like to go high. Some boomerangs like to stay six, eight feet off the ground. If I threw this boomerang from center, it would go out about 21 meters. I'd release it at about 70 miles an hour, and it would get back to me at about 60 miles an hour. Uh, I've, I've thrown this boomerang uh, five throws and catches in under 20 seconds. World record is 14.7 seconds. A guy out of uh, Switzerland throws a boomerang at about 90 miles an hour, gets back to him about 70. We keep them in the air for less than two seconds, but they have to do 20 meters. Uh, other kind of fun boomerangs, I like to do boomerang collections. And people can make them out of just about any shape that you can think of. This is a boomerang and it does return. I have broke it, throwing it so much, but it is a returning boomerang. Uh, nothing too special about some nice artwork. People like to make fancy paint jobs. Four blade, great for trick catch. Goes up high, comes straight down. When we do our trick catch event, you may be doing one-handed cleans, maybe over the top for an eagle. One hand behind the back. Uh-oh, not going to sign down. Uh, one hand under leg, catching it with our feet, kicking it in the air before you catch it. Freestyle, we do stuff like a hacky to flipping head catch. Kick the boomerang in the air, catch it on your head while you're doing a flip. We do a lot of fun. Uh, 
if you want to go out and throw a boomerang, it's really simple. I could take anybody out here, and within your 10th throw, I could have you throwing and catching a boomerang. That's not the tough spot. Throwing it out 109 meters and getting it back to you, which this year I took fourth in the world at the World Championships with 109 meters out. Uh, although the winning throw was 172 meters out, which is about two football fields before it returns. We do... Uh, this is the maximum time aloft boomerang. It's made to float in updrafts and thermals like balloons. People have had these in the air for 17 minutes, swear to God, with a catch. I've kept them in the air for three minutes with a catch. It's pretty amazing to watch. On a good throw today, this would leave the park and go off somewhere into Boston or whichever wind, way the wind would want to take it. On a normal day, we put some weight on it, some flaps to slow it down because you don't want a $100 boomerang taking off on you all the time. Uh, some neat artwork. Here's one of my favorites. This is always a, a, a kind of a crowd pleaser. This one is called Chief Returns. It's three boomerangs, three large boomerangs, made to resemble an Indian head. Um, this is a new... One people have doing a lot of fun artwork. Yosemite Sam, a guy that knows that I bowl a lot, made me a bowling ball and bowling pin boomerang. Uh, you can make a boomerang out of any shape. What's important about boomerang throwing, if you want to be out and compete, is you, uh, you know, we use uh, the same athletics that a soccer player uses. We use the same reaction, hand-eye reaction that a shortstop using, uses. Uh, it takes a lot of core, it takes a lot of muscle, it takes a lot of practice and a lot of training. I threw my first boomerang at 12 years old, I threw it in a rock, it broke into three places. I didn't, t I didn't try another boomerang for 10 years. Someone gave me some instruction, my first boomerang came right back to me, I was hooked. We heard there was competitions, we went to check it out, and before you knew it, we were traveling around and trying to get on these teams. I made my first team in 1988 to go to Europe. And from then on, um, it's, it's been a, a, a fun trip. Competed in Australia, New Zealand, Japan, three times in Europe. Our next world championships are going to be in Paris. Uh, recently, last 10 years, I've stopped trying out for teams, and I go out as a head judge generally or a tournament director to these events. I do get to compete in individual events. I do get to compete in the distance events. But I've in my 30 years... Now I've thrown boomerangs. I've become more towards the judge style. I like to go out and throw. Any, any of you can go get a boomerang online. Go to usba.org. Oh, uh, look at, go on to YouTube. Uh, Dude Perfect has done an episode with Logan Broadbent, one of the, uh, probably the top boomerang thrower in the United States. There's a lot of trick uh, uh, boomerang shots in there, which is awesome. Uh, but any of you can go out on a Sunday afternoon, take a nice slow floating boomerang and sit out there and meditate. It's a beautiful thing. We like to call it painting beautiful circles in the sky. And if you want to compete, you can go online and figure out how, work out, try. It's an awesome, awesome uh, competition.